Hi there, my name's uh, Adam Spence and I currently work in a group focused on motorsports products. I've been with the company now 11 years and I'd like to talk to you today about Garmin Catalyst. So after coming in off the track, one of the first things I like to look at for myself is the opportunities. So I go to one of my recent sessions and here you can see that the device has automatically identified three areas that I can work on. In this case, I can save over two seconds by looking at the data, and that's really important. And I can tell that just by looking at the optimal lap versus the best lap. So by clicking on opportunities, I can now go and understand what they are. On the overview then, in this example, there is no time to be saved from changing my line in terms of the length of the line. On other opportunities, you definitely see that. But I can still save two tenths of a second. Now immediately, because I've been looking at data for a while, I can look at the Axel d cell chart, which effectively describes my braking, and start to get an initial clue as to what's wrong. So let's go and explore that. So by clicking on braking, I'm going to get an overview now of the difference in performance between my average line and my optimal line. If I zoom in to make it a little bit easier to see, because it's such a long segment, I can immediately tell that for my optimal lap, I need to be braking later. That's reflected in the data above. We've also introduced another convenient feature though that you can visualize that as a driver, and that's in these thumbnails down the bottom. Now by themselves being so small, you can't tell very much, but you can click on those, and you actually get a blown up image of what those pictures have to tell you. Now immediately you can see from a driver's perspective the difference in my sight picture when I get to my braking point. On the left, you can see that telegraph pole, which is actually on the right-hand side of the car by the mirror, is much closer than the image on the right. And so that now helps me as a driver just understand what sight picture differences I'm looking for when I begin braking. I can also see though, in the actual XL D cell chart, that I'm braking much harder. And that shape is much more representative of what we generally want to see when we're doing threshold braking. So from there, let's have a look at the apex. So in this particular example, as we've probably already seen in braking, I definitely turned in later, but it's asking me to take a slightly later apex. If I zoom in then and look at the actual indicators for the apex, you can see that the purple triangle is a little bit further down the track than the white one, which really helps me now to visualize how much later I need to take that apex. So when we look at these opportunities pages, we're telling a story. As a driver, I only really have control over what I'm doing in terms of how I'm braking and how I'm turning. Those then result in the speeds that I'm carrying through that turn. So I'm going to zoom in to make it a little bit easier. So you can see here that the turn in speed of my optimal line versus my average line is only one mile an hour difference. You can also see that I was actually going a little bit slower on my optimal line through turn one. And so just my line and my trajectory just meant that I had to be traveling just that little bit slower to achieve my optimal line through lap two. I really hope you enjoy the product and that it helps you find your line to faster times. For more information, please go to support.garmin.com.